Hello. In this video, I'll be going over how to create a Mean.js app. For those of you that would like to know more about Mean.js, I'll be including a link to the documentation in the description below. So before we begin, I'll assume that you've already got all the required tools installed on your computer, which includes Node.js, MongoDB, the Grunt command line tool, the Yeoman generator, and the Mean.js generator that goes along with that. So first off, we're going to use the Yeoman generator to create our Mean.js app. It asks us what version we want to use, and we're going to choose the latest version here, 0.4.2. We're going to name our folder Mean.js app. going to also name our application main.js app and for the description we're just going to leave it as the default for now and also leave our company name blank for now and now it asks us if we want to generate the example modules we're going to say no for both of these because we're going to create our own modules and now it's going to install the node modules for us. So this will take a while and I'll be pausing the video till it finishes. Alright, so now that our npm install is finally finished, we now have the basic skeleton of our main.js app ready to go. And first off, I'll be going over the folder structure of our app real quick. So first off, we have this config folder. And basically what's in it is just all of the files used to basically connect our app together. You can see all of the other files being included. And here we have the environment variables being included. So this is how, your, how our app is being configured and hence this is why it's the config, why it's labeled the config folder. So in these videos we won't really be touching any of these files. Um, so here, another important folder is the modules folder. So the app is generated with the core and the users modules by default. And basically that gives it the basic functionality to let people create an account, let you have your user and admin accounts to log in, log out, and so forth. So those are pretty important. We have the node modules folder, which most of you are familiar with. Um, we have uh, public folders, which contains all of the client-side libraries. And the scripts folder, which has some server-side scripts. And in the root directory, we have all of these different config files. So that's pretty much it for that. All right, so now let's get into our main.js app folder. And we're going to use the Yeoman generator to generate a new mean module, like so. We're going to be creating a sample form, so we'll call this the form module. And we'll probably include the CSS and directives folders in there too. 
and let's include the config and policies folder in our server side. You can also see all of the available generators typing in this command here. So you can see main modules there at the bottom. Alright. So let's also create an Angular view for our new module. For module, I'm going to call this view uh, the form list view since this will be listing all of our form posts and we're going to be using the form controller let's add a route and we're going to just call this route form for now we're also going to be creating an angular config for this to we'll just be leaving it default and lastly we'll create an angular controller form controller and that's that Also, another quick thing about this file structure, or, yeah, file structure. So you see when we create a new module, it separates the client side and server side of our, of this module, like so. And this is called, uh, a vertical module so everything related to the forum is included within this module folder that makes it easier for different teams to work on different aspects of your project and not be confused about what goes where you know so now let's actually go ahead and start up our app so we can see it. First, we're going to need to run MongoDB here. If I can get the right path. And MongoDB. Again. And we need to run it as uh, super user. So sudo. So that's running in the background there. And one more to run our app. And we'll just run graduate. So this is actually going to run all the tests and everything. And it looks like it started. You can see our website. So let's go ahead and edit the config. We're going to add a new menu item here. The name of the default top bar menu is 
top bar. And let's see, we need a, a new title and a state. So just be the forum state for now. And we also need roles to let anyone be able to see the new menu item, we can just have a star there. So if we save that, we should be able to see our new menu item here. And it doesn't go anywhere because we haven't added in the route. So let's go ahead and edit the route file now. In the config sort of config routes and the only thing was this state has to match our state in the menu there. So now that that's good, let's check out our website. And there we go. So now it goes to the forum route. All right, so now let's put some stuff into our view. Let's find view. So here, let's put in. Uh, page header and just call it form and our form posts are going to be in a list group so let's just create one form post as an example for now. We'll just call this simple post. We'll put in some text. And make this section where we put the author. Let's check out how that looks. And it looks like we'll have to continue on the next video. So I'll see you in part two.